Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a brand new vlog. It feels very, very echoey in here for some reason today. It is the Tuesday after the bank holiday weekend. We have spent the whole morning just catching up on work. I had quite a lot of emails coming in considering it was a bank holiday weekend. So a little bit of editing to do as well. But now it has reached that time of day. I've just had my second coffee of the day. And when we get a bit brain dead, that's when we like to get out of the house, run any errands. And today we're heading to the cottage, to Straw Top, and we've got some decisions to make. So I believe we finally have the samples of the paint colors, the worktop um, material options, and also the doors for the kitchen cupboards, which is fantastic. I have been really looking forward to getting these bits because then we can finally envisage what the kitchen's gonna look like. It has changed quite a lot from our initial ideas, um, but we'll explain all of that when we're there. We also need to go to Carpet Right and have a look at some bigger swatches and some different options for carpets, get those ordered. And then finally, things are gonna start happening because this week as well, Andrew is there and is gonna start doing the painting. So all the prep is done. I'm hoping I'm gonna have a delivery from Dulux later on today with the primers, and then we get on to the exciting bits. Okay, so we're here at the cottage and and we have got loads and loads of samples here from Hammond's, including a sample of their new door style. So this is more of a uh, solid wood style door. What's it called? I think it's called the Hartforth. 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 Mornington beaded Hartforth. Hartforth. Yeah. Uh, blue. This is obviously blue. Mm-hmm. Um, I like that colour, but it's just too contemporary and slightly too modern for this cottage, I think. Yeah. So the question is... We want to go for sort of a green, don't we? Mm. Of some description. I think so. There are lots of options here. Let's move these out of the way. These are the... We originally wanted a dark green colour, um, but I think we've since changed our mind because of the size of the kitchen, that we want something a little bit more light and fresh. I think, so I think I always like to go process of elimination. Mm -hmm. Like this green, but I think that's slightly too dark. But we'll leave it in there for, I, I think these are just too grey, personally. Yeah. Um, Let's add a few more in. I think that's possibly too blue. I agree. Um, it's like Jenga. <laughs> um, I think that's too grey, that's too white. Is that not the one that you said was too blue? Oh, well, interestingly, no, that's not. Well, interestingly, this one is called the Cotswold Stone. Oh, really? But I think it is too grey. I don't think we want a grey kitchen. Mm. I mean, I, I personally... <clears throat> oh, <clears throat> it's very tricky. Mm. Let's put that back over so we've got that. Ah, so each of them have got a matte side and a gloss side. Mm. That's that clever. definitely matte. Mm. Uh, do you think? Yeah. I think that's too oh, glossy. I don't know. I quite like that. Do you think? Maybe it looks more natural in matte. I mean, I still think that's too dark. Hmm. I, we have keep, to I would it's a keep small... it there, keep it as an option. Because what top are you thinking? I personally like Ooh. these two the best. Oh, I do like that one, how it brings in the. I don't like that one. Really? No. How I come? That looks like a bathroom floor or something, really. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Now you've done that. Do I you know think this is... they are. That's a dream combo. Well, I think let's just have. Okay, so these are all quartz tops. Basically, that one of these, and I can't remember annoyingly, he said is like indestructible. Oh, wow. Which, obviously, given lots that it's of different a rental. people are staying here. come to a decision and we just really love this kind of Cotswoldy quite natural green colour. What's it called? Uh, green tea and there's a gloss Ooh. side and a matte side and I think we're gonna go matte and then we always said from the word go we really liked kind of ambery tones in a kitchen you don't see it very often um, so I think that this is the worktop we're gonna go with and we then we definitely think we definitely yeah I, re color. I really I think this one should we take them into the kitchen so that we can actually yeah because there is light in there let's I want to bring that with us okay. just because there's something about it I still quite like let's give it a go so bear in mind <laughs> obviously you're gonna have to use your imagination given the current state of the kitchen so this is actually the plan. 
Ah, which okay. is quite cool. So if you if you come here, this is from Hammonds that put this together. Mm -hmm. So obviously it's like that. Yeah. So if you're looking there, let's let's show you guys. Bring, bring the camera back. Um. So this is going to be the washing machine in here. A bit boring, but I have to have one. This is going to be the sink here. Yeah. Obviously you can see where the. This is like a corner cupboard. Mm -hmm. And then it comes along, and obviously the hot, the oven. Fridge is going to go in here, and then a fair bit of cupboard space, and some nice hanging space here. Um, we're getting rid of the radiators, which is nice, so we're putting more space. Mm -hmm. And we're having um, under cabinet just, heating, aren't we? Yeah, there's going to be heating under here, keeping the original floor, which is nice to keep something original. Mm -hmm. um, I think what I'm thinking with the windows, well, this replaced the window furniture. Yeah. So we need to figure that one out pretty soon. Mm -hmm. um, so what we need to also decide then is the colour for the walls in here. Um, and I think I think just very very much off white. I'd say. Yeah, maybe this like cashmere colour. I think that would clash. Really? I, I, I really do. Yeah, I think it would be too similar. You don't want it looking too similar. Hmm. Flaxseed is quite nice. And then it draws in from the warmer tones of this. In fact, I think I've painted a sample of flaxseed. Let me go and get it. So yeah, I did go to home base and pick up some samples. We're trying out the Dulux Heritage range. They just have some really beautiful colors, perfect for a kind of country cottage. Um, and I did paint on the back of an old wallpaper sample, some of the tester pots. And this one here, it looks a little bit whiter, but this is a sample of the flaxseed shade. And I think that they go really really nicely together and now we're up in bedroom at number one i think this is actually the nicest day that i've been to the cottage and i can see the view from across the window there's a really cute little thatched um kind of porchway in fact i'll show you there's like a thatched uh porch on the neighbor's door and it's got a beautiful clematis growing up it we obviously need to get our windows cleaned here um but yeah we're just deciding on the paint colors for this bedroom we really like the shade flaxseed and i think that's probably the white that we'll get in here for the skirting for the box top and for the windowsill and then i think we'll go for a really nice warm earthy green in this rope ladder shade because we do also have um two sections of the wall either side of that uh, chimney post which are going to be in this lovely wallpaper so i think those tones pull in together really beautifully and now finally we're here in the top bedroom. I do apologize for the echo. And I think the shade um, that I've done the swatch for is powder color. It was between these two, powder color and potter's pink. But I think that powder is a little bit more natural. It's more of like an off-white pink shade. <laughs> um, I think we get a truer color with the lights off actually. So I thought this room would be a little bit more like a warm pinky shade. It yeah, doesn't look that pink in the light. Um, so I think the challenge in this room is we decided we are going to have to keep the ceiling white. Are we? The beam, yeah, the beam is white and the floor white. Right. Purely because of um, time and also Andrew said that you will struggle to get these beams looking lovely. And it'll make a lot of mess having them shot blasted. So he persuaded me otherwise. So are the beams going to be the colour of the walls or white? And they're not going to be stark white. So we need to think which white shade goes best with powder colour. So I probably can... this linen white shade. Yeah, I think with the beams, I think we we take Andrew's advice. Yeah. I think we paint the walls and everything and the skirting all the same colour, so mm. pink. Mm. And then when it gets to the beams, we make a judgment call. Yeah. The ceiling has to be white and the floor has to be white because otherwise this room will feel tiny. Maybe we can ask him to leave the beams till last so we see how it looks with the contrast. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah. That's exactly yeah. What I just said. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, Are you sure you don't want to do it yellow? Yeah, no, definitely not. And then, and then the floor, the big thing is here, we want a nice big rug in here. Yeah. Um, I've, got, I've got a rug that I'm thinking. The other thing, so in here, this is the space that I want the luggage rack, antique luggage rack, mm -hmm. so people can put their suitcase in there, or even perch on it. So that is 90 centimeters. Perfect. So we have decided to uh, take a visit to. Have we got it? I've got a oh, that's a uh, Hitka lavender, isn't it? No, this is the French stuff. 
I think it's French. Ooh. French. It's lovely. How much is that? Well, we've ordered loads for the other bit, but I wonder if we use this lavender in the tub in the middle of your bed. So for something a bit different. Hmm. Yeah, we could do. Yeah. We need probably. to get about four or five though. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's two for 15 pounds, so should we get six? Yeah. Hang on, are they different? Oh, look, darling, behind you, look, the bigger ones. Oh, except I don't think that's as good value, I don't know. Well, I know we've got... Oh, actually, no, let's just get one of these. They're 30 pounds. It is much better to do that, I mean. Okay, get one of those and one four. Then. One of those no, and four of these. One of those, so that can burn apart. Oh, okay. And then these ones here, isn't it? Is it these ones? They're different, look. Yeah. For those. And then get six of these. those. The first one. This one. Yeah? Lovely. Really good selection. Good morning, my darlings. We're up in the powder room this morning. Yesterday, we got home from the garden center and it was such a good garden center. I feel like Charlie and I have become garden center snobs lately. We've been going to all the bougie ones like Dalesford's and Nicholson's and we forgot how amazing a normal garden center is. I realize that sounds so silly, but you forget that these bougie ones, they've really like curated an edit of stuff, whereas normal garden centers just have everything. So yeah, we managed to get some really good bits from um, the Hilliers garden center in Banbury yesterday, came home and it was just the worst weather. It was like hailstones pouring with the rain. So we didn't actually end up doing any planting. So I think we'll do some of that um, this afternoon. But I came up to the powder room to film some sponsored Instagram stories and it was so nice having this amazing backdrop. And I used, do you remember I showed you my jazzy light up makeup mirror? I used that as the ring light behind the camera. And the team from Hi Bella, which make my, it's called the Glam Mirror, um, saw my little snippet that I shared with you before and they have asked me to share some additional details about the mirror. Um, I don't think it was actually out <laughs> when I shared it with you, but now it is. So I'm going to show it to you again with a link down below um, now that it's actually available to buy and also share some of the amazing product features. Okay, so if you didn't spot it before, this is the Glam Mirror. It's this beautiful kind of rose gold finish. <laughs> As you can see, dun dun dun, it has got a five times magnification on there. But what I love the most about it is the fact that it's got this incredible ring light. So for a makeup mirror to have a light this good quality, and this is a 360 degree surgical grade LED light, which apparently is the first mirror to have a light of this quality. You can obviously charge it. It's got a little charging slot underneath um, but it is essentially wireless which is great because I don't actually have any plugs in here also makes it really um, portable it comes with this travel bag I'll insert a little clip on the screen here oh I have to give a huge shout out to the battery so I think I have charged this for a grand total of about 10 minutes and I have used it I've probably had it on for about I don't know two or three hours in total with all the makeup application and Instagram stories I've been filming. So it's got a super optimized battery, which is amazing, especially if you do want to use it in a wireless location. It's such a game changer for doing your makeup and I'm not sure if I'll be able to capture it on camera, but it's got a sensor mode. So if I come closer, pretty tricky to show you on camera, um, but it's got an illuminating sensor mode. So as you move towards it, it knows that you're there and it gets brighter. It is honestly so clever. And something that I hadn't set up before, because to be honest, I thought it might have been a bit of a gimmick, but since I've actually downloaded it, their app is amazing. Because if you don't want necessarily that sense mode, you can just click, keep the light on, you can adjust the, oh, Again, I'm not sure if you can see this very clearly on camera, but you can adjust the brightness. So take it all the way down, take it all the way up. You can even change the different types of light. So if you think it's more flattering to get a warm light, you can do that. Um, personally, I think the most real one is, <clears throat> excuse me, natural sunlight. So it's great for if you're doing your makeup, you can have it as, <laughs> as even like a coffee shop lighting. This one's quite flattering if you're doing Instagram stories or things like that. So yeah, overall, so much more than just a mirror. I absolutely love it. I think it looks great in here. Great for doing my makeup. Great for just, what I do is I literally just prop my phone against something like this, film my Instagram stories here. You get the best lighting with a ring light. Um, so yeah, it's incredible. I'll leave it linked down below. Now now that you can actually purchase it. Another beauty gadget that I would highly recommend. Gosh, we were not expecting it to be a nice day today. 
It was forecast rain all day and yet we have been treated some blue skies. The wisteria has been a little bit battered in the winds. I saw some wisteria flowers over in the flower beds that had obviously flung off. However, it looks like we still have loads of buds coming. I don't remember there being this many buds this time last year, so hopefully it's going to be quite spectacular. It's really funny, I'll show you the wisteria over by the coach house because it's a completely different kind of wisteria. It's got like long prongs with tiny little petals coming off the prongs um, and it's more leafy, whereas this is more flowery. So it's just really fantastic watching this coming into bloom. And speaking of bloom, as you can see over here, the crab apple arch is just looking spectacular. It really is. And another update on the yew hedge. So apparently they, um, they've been debating it at Nicholson's and they think that actually it really is just in shock because it's come from a root ball as opposed to, um, I'm not sure actually what, what the alternative was, um, but apparently you can go into shock. So they're gonna give it a little bit more time, see if they can come and spruce it up a little bit. We've got the Nicholson's chaps there. Chaps coming back here next week. They're working at our friend's property this week. We have been literally recommending them to everybody. But yeah, I think they'll, they'll sort it out. But the archway perfectly framing the church. If only that conifer wasn't there. <laughs> We'd have such an amazing view. But this is looking fantastic. And then, Charlie has been a busy bee down here. It is really starting to come together. The grass is slowly starting to grow back here. My veg beds are looking great. My lettuce that has been protected by the cloche is doing exceptionally well. Broccoli starting to look good. My French beans don't like the cold, so they're in a bit of shock at the moment. This little allium. It's not going to be long until he's fully out, and there's another one a few weeks behind. In the background, these peonies are looking spectacular. And then my cauldron, <laughs> as I like to call it, is now full of lavender. So we got that um, from Hillias yesterday. Charlie's been busy this morning planting it out. My cornflowers are doing well. I need to do some more planting in this area this weekend, but this square, hopefully come June, July, is going to be full, absolutely full of little plants. You can just see some of my cosmos starting to come out. Yeah, it's looking brilliant. I think it's going to rain later, so this whole area will get a really good watering. I might actually just come and pop some more cosmos seeds in the ground ahead of the rainfall. We sprinkled grass seed in all of these little patches, but it really is starting to come together. Okay, I've just come in and recurled my hair. Sometimes I feel like on day two or three, just by whizzing my curling iron tongs, <laughs> item through it just helps to add a little bit more definition so I've done that and then I use the way soft soft hold hairspray and it is lovely just had a really fabulous looking delivery so if you can hear the doggies arguing in the background what are you doing on the floor you absolute monkey so this box oh my goodness has just arrived from Pandora holy smokes oh my gosh this is like a dinner set Got a scalloped napkin, a plate. I think we've just had a brunch delivery. Oh my gosh. I am going to open this all up and then show you what's inside. Wowzers. So this is what was inside the massive box which Dexter is currently investigating from Pandora and according to 
the Pandora Post, Diamonds for Breakfast. This is all to celebrate the Brilliance Collection, which is lab-grown diamonds. That's such an interesting idea, much more sustainable as well. I remember them talking about this years ago, Dexy. Um, some of you may remember, I was actually one of the first group of Pandora ambassadors, must have been three or four years ago now. And they were talking about this way back then, and it's finally here. Pandora's first sustainably lab-created diamond collection Hinged on the idea of infinite possibilities, the new collection includes bracelets, bangles, rings, necklaces and earrings, all centred around an infinity motif. That sounds absolutely gorgeous. They've got Ashley Graham looking beautiful, modelling some of the collection here. And then we have got the most fabulous brunch. I haven't eaten anything yet today, so this is making my mouth water. We've got smoothies from oat, cinnamon and honey, oat coffee and chocolate, oat, raspberry, oh, rose and hibiscus. I don't know if I can talk anymore, my mouth is watering so much. We've got this little brioche um, raspberry and rose cake here, some sourdough bread, butter, a little strawberry tart, this lovely little plate with a very chic cutlery set. Step one, step two and step three for an organic beetroot eggs dish and even a bottle of Coates and Seeley champagne. Oh no, it'll be sparkling wine because it is a product of England. Ooh, I love the sound of that. What a fabulous delivery, absolutely beautiful, and I love this little scalloped um, place setting. I'd love to know where you got that from, Pandora. I might order a few more of those. So, wow, what a treat. What a treat in the morning, don't you think, Dexy? <coughs> I'm now fueled up on raspberry and rose brioche. That was scrumptious, and the loveliest own cinnamon smoothie. I'm definitely gonna try and find a way of recreating that. I've just popped my ring light up even though it's really nice and bright in here, because I have a few new bits from River Island and I thought I would film a reel because I've not done a fashion reel in so long, probably two or three weeks, um, and I thought, why not? So I'm also gonna pop you, where is my tripod attachment? I'm gonna pop you up on the tripod and then I can show you the River Island bits as well. Feels like I'm doing a proper fashion video. So this dress that I've been wearing today is River Island as well, and I paired it with my Monica Vanenda necklace. I need to take off my hair bubble. And it's just a really nice light material. It looks a little bit sheer on camera, but I don't think it actually is that sheer in real life. And let me show you. So I would call that a maxi length dress, and I have paired it with my Prada shoes. So I'm gonna film this with a reel and then I'll show you the next outfit. Okay, we are in dress number two. I say we are in, we are trying to get in. It's one of those dresses that you have to do up all of the little buttons and I'm gonna to have to undo them all <laughs> to get it out again. My only complaint would be that it would be nicer if this had a zip. No, I definitely don't think it has a zip, but that would make it a lot easier to get on, but now that it's on, it is absolutely gorgeous. So this has got some cutout details, it's got really nice, tight, um, oh, it's got those bloody buttons on the sleeves again. I'm not even gonna bother doing them up, actually, you won't see it on the reel. Um, but I love the long cuffs, I love the v-neck with this trim detail, beautiful length to the v-neck, and it's quite a short skirt, so for me, definitely a little bit shorter than what I'm used to, but I do want to get my legs out a little bit more this summer. I'm gonna pair it with, let's see. Ooh, if I wasn't doing a reel, I would actually pair it with these. These are my Pewtery Gold Valentino. We now have to call it Val Valentino Garavani because I think the two brands have separated. Um, but these are my rock studs, very old, very battered, very well worn, they go with everything. I'm pretty sure it's Louisa Via Roma that has these 25% off at the moment. If it is Louisa Via Roma, I'll leave them linked down below with the code that you need. I would highly, highly recommend these shoes even though this reel isn't sponsored by River Island but this stuff was um, very kindly sent by the brand I'm gonna pair with the River Island Bottega dupes as well next dress is this little yellow would you call this like a I call this like a picnic blanket kind of print checkered print you've got this lovely bow detail on the shoulder nice open area along the neckline really lightweight fabric and a great length as well so for me the perfect summer day dress it's kind of material that's really easy to also just throw it in the washing machine so great for gardening summer garden parties yeah this is a big tick from me again let me show you the length 
and this lemony yellow colour. I feel like we are all just loving those more optimistic tones at the moment. So yeah, really nice affordable summer day dress from Miller Island. And the next outfit is this really lovely little jumpsuit and it's got this bow tie detail around the uh, chest area and then these little strappy sleeves which I might be tempted to take up by about a centimetre just so it's a little bit more like here. Don't know, I just feel like it's a little bit loose at the moment. I have got a birthmark on my tummy which I'm quite self-conscious of, it's just like a giant mole. Um, but this does somehow frame it so I think I might try and find a way of making it stay that way as opposed to showing this whole gap in the middle but I do love the length I love this kind of daisy pattern again a really nice chilled summer outfit I've swapped from dresses to a really sweet little blouse whoops you can see my bra straps a little bit blouse and shorts this is a really nice my perfect kind of blouse really lovely again lightweight material billowy sleeves you've got smocking on the sleeves which makes them really comfortable and then a little kind of skirt for a very flattering silhouette gorgeous shade of lilac and a really nice square neckline and then I have paired it with some little shorts again from River Island I think these are great summer shorts really easy to pull on a little tie bow tie detail around the waistline floral embroidery and I believe there was a matching um, blouse to these shorts as well which I'll also leave linked down below I thought they were rather cute and up next is another picnic blanket outfit This shade of pink is giving me so many positive summery feelings. It's a really interesting silhouette. You've got like three different tiered levels. I can definitely just imagine wearing this with a basket bag for a nice outdoors lunch with friends. Again, a really nice lightweight material. I feel like River Island have done really well to get such floaty materials and the colors of this collection I absolutely love. Up next is another top and jeans combo. Okay, nearly finished the reel. It is at this point that I'm just praying that my phone does not have a little moment and delete all my work. Touch wood, oh my gosh, touch wood. Why would I do that? So this is another lovely lightweight blouse. This feels a little bit thicker actually. So great for these kind of days where we're eating outside but it's not actually that warm. Uh, really nice kind of cutesy print. And then I have paired it with, I think it's, I think these are the Molly jeans. No, these are the carry high-rise mom jeans. I think they look great with the Bottega dupe sandals. And I went for a size above my usual size just so that they are nice and comfy. But yeah, I think this is a really lovely little combination. And this is the last one. I think I saved the best till last. I always try and save something lovely for the last look when I'm doing reels. Again, we've got some lovely puff shoulders, cute little ruffles down the side of the bodice, and my favorite smocking detail. Again, a really nice optimistic color. We managed to save the reel to drafts, and I've downloaded it after my almost jinxing of it earlier. Again, we've got a lovely midi length, and looks great with the shoes. I'm gonna keep this outfit on now because I am heading to Dalesford for lunch with my friend Rory. So I'm gonna find a nice long cardigan and I think, I think I will take a cute little basket bag. This is one that must be about four or five years old now in my collection from Pollen, really lovely. But first I need to add some powder. So I hope you enjoyed that quick little mini speed haul. So after a lovely luncheon at Dalesford, I had the broad bean and asparagus risotto, as you just saw, and it was scrumptious. Naturally couldn't resist a little trip into the garden center. And I'm not sure they had so many um, little seedlings like this when I first went in. Maybe I was just so blown away by my surroundings. I didn't actually look at what they're actually selling. So made a cup of tea and I'm having half of the strawberry tart on my little sausage dog plate. Uh, tart, I don't know if you'd call that a tart or a little I don't know, something very lovely. And I'm not sure I'm going to plant the mange too, which 
is spelt man get out. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I'm going to plant that yet because I don't have anything for it to grow up um, and I think we might have another frost so I'm going to leave that in the greenhouse but I am going to plant my spinach. I did already have some spinach but I think it got frostbite so I thought for the sake of £2.50 I was quite impressed with how not overpriced this was. I thought for the sake of £2.50 I would get another spinach plant so I'm going to pop that in the bed next to my lettuces and then this is a little pun it I'm going to say, a little selection of six strawberry seedlings um, and this was £7.50 so again I didn't think that was too badly priced considering it's been grown in the Dalesford Gardens so yes I think I'm going to plant these two, pop this in the greenhouse with my cup of tea on this what has turned out to be a very lovely early evening. Are you going to help your mother? Let's check in on the plants that we planted last weekend. Um, so I think these are the phlox. Um, what else did we plant last weekend? Lots of little phlox plants. We need to cover up our irrigation. What else did we do last weekend? Is that stocks? Some stocks there. Um, I definitely planted some geraniums. I think I planted that lupin last weekend and that one because I remember the last said it was potentially a bit close to the U ball. And I did just see somewhere we've got some more little cosmos starting to come out. I don't know if that's grass or not, so I'm not going to pull it up just yet. Uh, and then I planted, I think that's a little geranium, all very small, but lots of cosmos appear to have um, appeared, appear to have appeared, <laughs> they appear to have appeared here. And, and the wisteria is really starting to come out, you can see some really juicy flowers starting to bloom here, and these ones starting to turn white, if you've ever seen a wisteria flower up close. It's really rather beautiful. Look at that, and loads more in their bud form, ready to go. Today I took delivery of these four hazel, um, what do you call them, mini pergolas? What do you call them? Yeah, I'm not sure. Which hazel supports for my sweet peas? I searched high and low for uh, some British made willow supports because there were quite a few that you could import from goodness knows where but I found that these, I think it was actually in Milton Keynes that these have been made. They had some lovely videos on the website of the ladies making them and to be fair it's been about six weeks since I ordered these so um, they have very much been made to order and they are incredibly fresh. This willow is in fact still green but they're a great size. Dickens is investigating. Don't you dare trample on my peonies, young man. Avoid- no. You're such a naughty boy. Get off there. Um, so I've just been playing around with the location of these. I thought maybe one on each edge of my cut flower square, but it kind of enclosed it a little bit. So I think perhaps I'm going to leave them down here and that way they just create a little bit of shape down at the end. I think this looks good. I'm going to lie them down now because I've got my chiropractic treatment in 20 minutes so I don't have time to get them in situ and I'm sure that Charlie is going to want to see their location before they get um, put in the ground more permanently. I think we're going to be doing a lot of gardening this weekend. We've bought quite a few bits. In fact, let me show you. Charlie's been a busy bee. Look at my broad beans by the way. They are doing very well indeed. I should have put this, um, I should have 
maybe move some of the good ones over to the arch support but I think they'll be okay. So we've got my potatoes starting to show some signs of green life. Charlie has been very busy working on his uh, herb trough. Got some rosemary, some thyme, it's looking very good indeed. And then we've got some catmint down here. We have got salvia, I think that one is, for the bed around the front. This is my little trough of pretty flowers and then this one is going to be full of edible flowers. And then he's got this other trough down here which is going to be completely full of mint. And I also bought this, did I show you in this vlog? Anemone from Nicholson's which I'm going to also plant in the cut flower garden and it looks fantastic with the cauldron full of lovely lavender. Yeah, I think these witch hazel supports look pretty good down here, but we will We'll have to see what his lordship says. So the planting is all done. We just lost Dexter. He charged out through the through the hedge, which I've been saying for so long that we need to get chicken wired, but he charged out all the way across the road, over the footpath. So I just spent the last 10 minutes finding him. And then I saw both of them, just happy as Larry, knowing full well that I was watching, charging through the laurel hedge. Honestly, these boys. So I'm gonna end the vlog shortly, but I'm just gonna very quickly show you an amazing delivery that arrived today of some fantastic crockery, which I can't quite decide if it's gonna stay here or go to Straw Top. And this has all arrived from the White Company. Look at this. This is what you would call a fantastic crockery haul. So I went for the Portobello set. It's mostly plain white or just off-white, I would say, but it's got quite a natural shape to it. Quite, um, I don't know, just lovely, lovely edges. They look a little bit rustic and handmade. This here is a herb pot tray. So I'm gonna put some basil, rosemary, and thyme in there. This is also part of a portobello collection, these little scallop dishes. Um, so we've got side dishes, I've ordered eight of everything, the main plates, and I think these are called the pasta bowls, and then I believe down here we've got the cereal bowls as well. And then also from the collection, this lovely oil pourer. And then I can't remember the glass collection, I will leave them linked down below though, but I ordered the tall glasses, they actually feel really nice and fairly thin. Um, I like drinking out of thinner glasses. The little shorter glasses, the kind of stubby, I guess these would be called wine glasses probably, but I would, I would probably call them juice glasses. And then some things which I'm really excited about, if I come round here, quite like the light in this room at this time of day. Ooh, this candle, which I thought looked gorgeous. It's got lime and bay, and it's got the actual kind of foliage down there at the bottom. I love the look of these trays, so it's very much kind of oven to table, that kind of very on trend vibe. And you get these wicker baskets that are the perfect size for your oven trays. So I think for serving things like veggie bakes, that's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. And then these lovely napkins. So very happy with my wonderful white company haul. I will leave these bits down below. I might do a little edit for them in the newsletter. And I've also ordered some bits from a home Instagram account. They do some very bougie table linens that kept coming up on my recommended page. I spent an absolute bomb on it. <laughs> so I'll show you that when that arrives, but I thought I would show you this before signing off for the vlog for today. I must say one of the perks of a straw top cottage is buying more homeware because I love buying homeware, but there's only so much you can fill your own home with. Um, I was worried that this vlog hadn't really had much in it, but at least we've had the River Island try on session. Um, can't really remember what I've shown you in this vlog, gosh. But the next one's gonna be really fun because I'm off to London tomorrow for a day of pampering with Freddie, then back again home, and then back into London on Saturday for a day of pampering with my girlfriends, Hannah, Sophie, and Vicky. So it's gonna be a really lovely couple of days. I'm hoping I might be able to get to see Freddie's apartment as well. So stay tuned for that. If you did enjoy the vlog, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you very soon for the next one. Bye.